Mark Lobliner here, back at the power station uh, in Middletown, Ohio, in the middle of nowhere. But we're here, it's cold as hell outside, and um, of course, machine training gear is on. We got whips, we got chains, all we need is handcuffs. We got ourselves a hell of a leg day going on. I'm here with Maria, IFBB Pro. Rocket. Gibbon? Marie Gibbon? Yes, Marie Gibbon. That's how you pronounce it. No funny Swedish pronunciation or anything? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's why I got my last name and then my maiden name. Um, what is your maiden name? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I can spell it. <laughs> no, I can't. Mark's going to teach me how to do head the legs. I'm going to teach him how to do flying muscles. Yeah, I, well, she probably already knows how to do heavy legs, but that's just all I know how to do because I'm not very smart. But then I'll jump around and do whatever it takes. And I mean, you know, when it comes to glutes, she probably knows what she's doing. So I've been looking to tighten up my ass, get it nice and firm, nice and kissable. So um, that's uh, that's what we're going to do today. So I think we'll start with some heavier stuff and then move in. And it's kind of like when you do a training session and then you do a burnout set at the end. I always thought plyometrics, lunges, things like that are great to do after your heavy sets to activate different muscle fibers. And I know it's bro science, all you guys say, well, why don't you activate it? So shut up, we've never gotten ready for a show, you don't know what it's like to have shredded glutes. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, anything you want to say? No, just going to make sure that Mark's glute is going to be great to watch. Yes, <laughs> yes, even though everybody's going to watch her glutes. <laughs> Two people in here. All right. <laughs> It's still going. You can 
can get the whole thing on it. Yeah. 
This is definitely going to be interesting here. So you start up top? I start up top. Start with one leg up and then switch. Next switch. This. Like you're running in place. That's there you okay. go. And 10. And 10. Do not fall. That's the number one goal. Do not fall. There's no injuries. You <laughs> 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 might not like that one. <laughs>
And especially if they're on the protein. <laughs> yeah, I'm on protein. I'm on tuna. When people say I'm on protein, that's when I almost lose all professionalism and just start cursing. <laughs> I mean, you know? But when they buy, I don't know, protein that rhymes with Everly and has high fructose corn syrup in it and don't read the label and think it's high quality. I'm sorry. Well, who used to do that? <laughs> Show Marie how to make that. Brownies? Come on, the MTS, the MTS Way Brownie. Yeah, you need to show me that. Great. It's on YouTube. Love chocolate. It's on YouTube. Yeah, you can put natural peanut butter on it. Hey, we're standing here in front of the Red Devil, also known as Lana Powers. <laughs> we just got done training. I think we trained legs. But my, my, lungs, my lungs feel a bit overtrained, and uh, I gotta tell you, that high rep stuff, the bouncing and the jumping, not only was it fun to watch you do it, but it was also very, I mean, the pump and blood flow I got in my legs, it was different, because I usually do one set to failure, and then I'll do a rep, set of like 20 reps again just to blow it out. 
but it was definitely something I can see as a bodybuilder doing at least every three to four weeks just to what the bros like to call shock the system. I mean, what do you think about that as someone who bodybuilds and has bodybuilded and knows bodybuilding and, and, and doing that? Throwing that in, would you, wouldn't you say that would be cool? I think that's very good. It's the way I like it. Um, I think it's also good for your muscles to shock. Yeah. Um, for a woman, I think maybe you need to do it more than three times a week just because a woman, I think, you need to lift weights in a little bit of a different way and more than men do. If you guys add mass, that's wonderful. But women also carry so much more fat on their lower body that we always need to try to shape it and shape it and shape it. So I put plyometrics in um, all of some cardio, that way you get the cardiovascular and the shape of your legs. You know what's funny, a lot of people say that shaping your legs and target training and building peak is impossible. Scientifically, you're right, there are no studies saying that it is, but anecdotally, you know, I've known so many people who have been able to do that, I myself have worked on trouble areas and built them up. Whether it works or not, you do know that different muscles get targeted in different ways. And the higher rep sets, they have that research showing that target training does exist. Now you combine it with supplements such as Yohimbine, which does target in women your hips and abs. And you combine it with that also an insulin controlled diet, a clean diet as we like to call it. And you have yourself a recipe for a really, really great ass. And, and that's kind of what we're getting at here, is it's an overall solution here. But what I learned today from you, as a trainer, I treat women just like men, and men just like women, not only for my female clients, but for my male clients, I'm definitely going to include more plyometrics. Um, just mainly to hear them cry and scream like I did today, <laughs> and to get even with them in a universal way. <laughs> my people that I train, I love them. Yeah. I do love them. You train weird people, mine would cry. <laughs> mine would cry. But um, yeah, thanks again. This was great. We started with the high intensity stuff, and then we moved into whatever the hell that was. <laughs> I just know it hurt. Um, anything you want to kind of. Say about training and closing statement. No, I just think that everybody should try it. Everybody should make sure that you're having reps first. So they don't get injuries and get too tired before you do them. And then add some more high reps or high metrics um, to help yourself out and do something different. Yeah, so here we are, Power Station Gym. Uh, yeah, we did it. So uh, until next time, uh, be sure to watch the rest of our video series and follow Marie. Uh, what was your website? MarieGibbon.com. Do you spell that for the people? They're not very smart. M-A-R-I-E-G-I-B-B-O-N.com. Awesome. And of course, TigerFitness.com and MachineMuscle.com for all your well for all your supplement, physique, and health goals. It's Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. You're with Marie Gibbon, Power Station, Ohio. Peace.